back to my channel. Oh my god, it's been a long time since I last made a video on this channel. I have a lot to explain about my absence in the past month or two, I think. I'm just gonna go ahead and get started with my makeup. Basically, one of the reasons why I've been so absent is because I've been way too obsessed with this game that came out for the Switch. It's Fire Emblem Three Houses. I've been playing this non-stop for the past couple of days. Yeah, I've put like over 70 hours in the game and I completed one of the storylines and then I realized, oh yeah, there's two other storylines because it's three houses. I was gonna just stream the other storylines on my Twitch channel if you wanna follow that, which is where I've been more active these days. I have this new foundation. I decided to choose the Milk Makeup Flex Foundation Stick. I have the color buff. I did get a little bit of a tan because I was in Hawaii. I mean, I couldn't even tell in the Sephora lighting, but hopefully this matches me right now. If it's a little bit lighter, I guess it doesn't matter. But yeah, this is what it looks like. It actually feels like kind of like metal. A medium coverage natural finish foundation that covers, calms, and flexes without creasing or caking. So we'll see about that. I already put on sunscreen. Honestly, as much as I like the idea of stick foundation, I feel like I haven't found one that really works for me. I always felt like it got really greasy later on in the day. But hopefully this one works well. When I swatched it out, it looked really nice. I got the Juno & Co company, Juno Microfiber Velvet Sponge. I don't know if this will even work well with this foundation, but I'm just gonna see. I wanted, I got this because, um, I mean, there was a lot of hype behind it. I was gone for the past couple of weeks because I was in Hawaii. I meant to put a Hawaii vlog, but just like, I don't know how to vlog at all. I don't know how people can talk, look into the camera, talk to the camera when you're with other people. Cause I was with my family and it was just, when I go on vacation, I want to enjoy my vacation rather than vlog. I mean, I did film some stuff, but the thing is like, I just didn't talk that much. I mean, I haven't really looked over the footage. It's just that what I know I filmed. I'm like, is it even worth it? But I mean, I'll see. I'll try to look over it and see if there's anything worth uploading. It seems to be a decent match. It's just my double chin. Actually, no, it's not a good match right now, but it's okay because I did get tan. So hopefully I'll get, it'll match me later. But honestly, none of my foundations right now fit me. I did wear sunscreen like all the time. This sponge actually works really well. Like it looks like a really seamless blend. I got um, this from Riley Rose. Mostly as like just an add-on gift because they said if you spent over $50, you get this little gift bag, which I did get. But at first I wasn't really eligible for it because I was under it. So I just grabbed this because it was like right there. But right now the stick foundation does look really natural. I'm surprised it does look pretty dewy because I don't think my skin before it looked that dewy from my sunscreen and skincare and all that. It's just that right now it doesn't match me. Oh, my double chin, it's so sad. I've been trying to lose weight because I have to, uh, I'm gonna see my boyfriend's parents, like meet them for the first time next week. It's just blended down because it really does not match me right now. <laughs> but yeah, this finish, I actually like this finish, but we'll see because I do have combination skin and I'm gonna be working today and the air conditioner does not work at my work. So I'll probably look like shit. But yeah, I've also been really, <laughs> busy because been so busy because i've been um getting like all my vaccines have to go to the doctor back and forth get cpr license drug testing because of school because i'm going to be working in healthcare. so it's just my physician it was like just annoying going back and forth because everything was due at the end of july but i was going to be gone like the last week of july because i was going to be on vacation so i needed to get everything done beforehand but they kept on rescheduling me it takes me like such a long time to drive to the doctors because my parents are so obsessed with getting a korean doctor that they would be willing to drive 30 minutes to go to one when it's just an inconvenience for me it's like why can't you just go to one closer like any random doctor they're all licensed the same but yeah it was just so much of a hassle i really like the sponge <laughs> oh my god Ooh. But yeah, so I mean like I'm still not done with everything like the flu shot isn't available till September So I was confused on like how I'm supposed to get everything done by the end of July when some of the vaccines aren't even available 
and I tried to get like a waiver for it, but then they rejected my waiver. It was just so, so much a hassle. I like ranted all the time about it on my Twitter. Um, even though my Twitter is private, like I'm just gonna accept people because I just don't care. I just talk a lot of shit on Twitter, so I'm pretty sure it's like really exhausting having to um, read through my tweets. But I really just use Twitter to rant or like look at funny shit. But it's pretty much p private because I don't want like my bosses or school to see the kind of stuff I say. You gotta be careful, man. I have a friend, she was my coworker, but she just quit recently. Like her dad works in like security, cyber security, I think. And yeah, like you have to be careful with the stuff you post. I got so much of a tan. It probably does not look like that on camera, but um, the medium shade at, on from the Glossier concealer, this was before they expanded the shade range. It actually suits my skin now because before it didn't, so I had to get G11, which is like the second lightest shade. Like this is the equivalent, equivalent, sorry, of like G9, I think. Oh, I also got a new powder. I was gonna get the milk makeup powder until I realized I have store credit from Glossier, so I got the Wowder from Glossier. I have the shade G11, G12, probably would not fit me right now, but I'm pretty sure it's sheer. I also ended up getting the brush that like they advertise with it just so I could get free shipping. It's pretty cute. Oh, I saw dust fly off from it. Really small. I thought it would be a little bit bigger. So like this is the Laura Mercier powder. For some reason, the Laura Mercier powder is not as good as I thought. I had the little travel size version that they sell at Sephora for the longest time ever. And I really love that. So I decided to get the full size. But the full size is not as good as the travel size. I feel like like maybe my skin changed but it's not like setting my face. Look, I get really oily still, even though the sample one did not make me oily. But yeah, this powder is different because it has like a little mesh in the center. I can see that there's shimmers in it, which I'm not sure if I'm, hopefully it doesn't really show. I'm just gonna have to use this brush. I mean, this is like the perfect size for setting the under eye. But right now, if you were probably wondering what I'm listening to, I got the new Mac Ares album came out, Juice Box, so I've been listening to that. But I felt like this powder looked kind of similar to the Milk Makeup Powder. Like, same kind of packaging, except the Milk Makeup one is like the size of the Laura Mercier powder. It seemed to mattify my under eyes decently. What I look for in a powder is like, I want it to set my face, I still want it to look natural and ho ho hopefully like hold the oil control I get on my face, but still kind of like a semi-matte finish. I don't know if that's even possible with the powder. So it doesn't really say like the claims, it just says, you know, it'll set the face and reduce shining. It doesn't say it's gonna eliminate it. But yeah, you can always follow me on Spotify if you wanna see the kind of music I listen to because I kind of get questions about that. My nose still looks kind of shiny though. Ooh, I really like the song. This song is called Getaway. Ooh, sorry. <laughs> I need to start a new August playlist. I did not a uh, post for July, even though I do have a July playlist. So if you want to listen to that, but I'll link that down below. But I really did not have time to listen to a lot of music in July. This brush is not bad though. It's cute, but it's really not necessary. It was just because I wanted to get free shipping. Time to contour my face. I just feel so gross these days. I've been trying to eat healthy, but really that did not last that long. Cause I just love, love, love junk food. All my brushes are probably dirty. I feel like I haven't cleaned them in a while. Yeah, so what, how, what else have I been doing? Oh, so like recently I hung out with my high school friends, which I don't really have that many high school friends, which is fine because I didn't really talk to anyone in high school. But one of my high school friends is moving back to Korea, which I'm really sad about. I mean, I'll go visit her eventually. But I had to like drive all the way to Irvine. We went to get um, Korean barbecue. And then we would just went to the mall um, afterwards in Irvine. It's just like the Irvine Spectrum is like a pretty popular mall, I guess. But I ended up running into a subscriber. I think her name was Annie. I can't remember. But um, she said hi to me. And I, felt, I felt so gross because I just came back from All You Can Eat Korean Barbecue. So I probably looked bloated. I probably smelled. Yeah, she still wanted to get a picture with me. I felt... I was like, oh shit right now, but I mean, she was still nice about it, but yeah, she was really sweet. So Annie, I think that's your name. I don't know, correct me for sure. Thank you so much for saying hi. My friend has bullied me afterwards about it, but 
like random places they would just tap my shoulder and be like oh my god can I get a picture with you? And I just like freak out. Like I felt so bad because she said that uh, my get ready with me videos are her favorite and I'm like shit I haven't uploaded a video in like a couple of months. So pretty much the reason why I'm uploading this video is because like she kind of gave me a reminder oh shit I have a YouTube channel. But I swear to god every single time I try to film it's always gloomy. It's summertime. I live in California. It's rarely ever cloudy. Every single time I try to film, it's always cloudy. I should have more time to upload though because now that I'm like somewhat kind of done with all the vaccines, I still have to get them uh, like a bunch of booster shots. But like most of the stuff is like done. I should be able to upload more videos soon, but it's like I just kind of like also was kind of taking a break from making videos because I lost creativity. Like once I see my videos start to have like no energy behind them, I'm like, shit, I just need to take a break because not that it's like hard because really being a YouTuber is not that hard <laughs> compared to other jobs, real jobs. Not that I consider YouTube being a job is a hobby of mine. But once it starts to feel like a job, like a chore for me to upload videos, like I just need to take a break because I don't want it to become like a job. So like as much as I like putting out videos, I don't like putting out videos that are crap, which I felt like I have been doing. So that's why I took a break. So there was just a whole bunch of reasons why I was taking a break from YouTube. But what I realized in my videos is that for some reason, the foundation part takes so much time of my, uh, like the base products take a long time in my videos. But when it comes to eyes and stuff, I just like rush through it. So maybe I should just take more time doing eyes. But I feel like I haven't been doing a good job on my brows lately. I mean, I haven't even done my brows in a while. So it's like hella hair all over here. Um, but today is one of my favorite coworkers, last day, Miley. She watches my videos, I think. <laughs> my eyebrow pencil. But it's her last day because she was going to college and I have to get her gifts and all because I totally forgot to get her a gift. So my manager and I are like, because we're the, we're going to be working with her on her last shift. She had just texted me to get her breakfast and I'm like, Chick-fil-A breakfast? So I was going to get her a Chick-fil-A gift card anyways. Chick-fil-A breakfast though is amazing. God, I'm not even one to like, like breakfast foods. I absolutely hate breakfast foods. Like just something about it just is gross to me. I don't even eat breakfast. I don't have time to eat breakfast. And I think there was like a study that came out saying like one out of seven Americans don't even eat breakfast because they don't have time, which is totally true. I don't even think it's the most important meal of the day. I think that's just like a propaganda kind of thing just to sell shit. Probably is important, but I just, I'm just so used to not eating breakfast that it really doesn't affect me in any way. Yeah. In the beginning, my eyebrows look crazy, but I always just blend it out. I don't know if I got this part, but I was gonna, um, one of the shadows I'm gonna use is this Natasha Denona Single Shadow in Morgana. My friend got this in her beauty box, but she said she wouldn't use this. And I actually been using this and I really like this color. So I'm not sure what other shades I'm gonna use with this, but I've been using this palette a lot, the Milky Shadow Palette from Holika Holika. Oh uh, yeah, I haven't been even doing skincare for the past week because I all I've been doing is playing that game. So my skin's not in the best condition, but it's honestly not even that bad. All I've been doing is just washing my face with micellar water and that's it. I don't really, I didn't do anything else. And that's kind of what I realized skincare is or having good skin. It's pretty much genetics because I eat like shit yet my skin doesn't really break out. The only time it did break out was due to hormonal reasons, but after that it was completely fine. So that's why I felt like I also was um, taking a hiatus because I felt like, do I really provide anything different to my YouTube channel? Like I know a lot of you guys follow me due to skincare, but I'm like, am I even actually helpful because I feel like my skin isn't bad like yeah i kind of know stuff about skincare but i'm like when i test it out i'm like is it actually good or is it just because my skin isn't doesn't really react that badly to a bunch of skincare yeah i was only breaking out around my hairline because probably i missed that area whenever i would take off my makeup it's also because i ran out of oil cleanser which is why i was using the micellar water but i did get a new um, oil cleanser from riley rose i got the dhc one just because it was cheaper than the belief one i usually like and I spent way too much yesterday. I'm gonna try to smoke out a bit more. 
I think I'm gonna have to add that Rimmel palette because this one's like too sheer. This is what I wear like when I'm in a lazy kind of mood. Actually no, lazy, my lazy shadow is this Misha one. This one I could actually do that one swipe thing. I just get my ring finger and go through all the shadows and I do that and it actually looks pretty good. But yeah, this one's really too sheer that probably I wouldn't recommend it. I think this is just like a really bad personality trait I have is that I compare myself to others and I just don't think I really um, bring anything new to the table, which is why that's like the main reason why I quit art school is because I was com comparing myself to other people. Like I know I'm not that good at makeup. I'm not that really like good at YouTube to be honest. I suck at video games, but I like video games. So it was like, why do I even make videos, to be honest? So I'm just gonna use my finger for this shadow. I think supposedly this shadow is included in one of the palettes that Natasha Donono has, but it's way too expensive. So yeah. It's really pigmented. I like barely pressed in. I might have to deepen my shadow later once I put this on and see how everything looks. But yeah, Manuela has orange eyes, orange lips, probably is matte but I'm just gonna make it shimmery because I like shimmer. See I just love that shadow it looks so pretty. I don't know why my friend didn't want this. I have to put some on the bottom because I feel like I'm way too top heavy with my shadow. I know I mentioned that I'm gonna see my boyfriend's parents soon for the first time and we're actually gonna go to a really popular amusement park. I'm not gonna go I'm not gonna say the name but you could have probably already guessed in SoCal. And if you somehow run into me there, if I'm alone, you can go ahead and say hi to me. But if I'm with two older Asian people, please do not come up to me because I don't want them to know about my YouTube channel because I'm meeting my boyfriend's parents for the first time. I don't want them to see how crazy I am from my YouTube channel. <laughs> please do me a favor. I feel like my lash Part of my lash got missing again because I know there was like a gap before but then it grew out but then now I feel like there's a gap again in the exact same spot. My skin's starting to look a little more shiny but I mean it's still set. It just looks really natural. I think I was watching uh, Kenny's review on the Glossier stuff and I think she said it, the foundation works best with the powder and I do have the foundation from Glossier. This is what I wear every day. This is the only one that I can wear because it's so sheer that it doesn't look like a huge color difference on my face. But I really do like how natural that milk foundation looks. Yes, <laughs> I'm just admiring how my skin looks. I've been using this eyeliner from Maybelline, the Master, Pre Pre Master Precise Skinny. And I have the dark brown version, but I like it. It lasts for a long time, but it's just way too creamy that it breaks off all the time and it just clumps up my lashes. So I hate that, but I use this for my waterline. Why did that take me so long? Or not waterline, tight line. Does it? My eye still look orange. I might have to put on some more later. Let me look at Manuela again. But yeah, this is her like, this is what she looks like. Oh God, the glare. Look, she has the same beauty mark as me. Okay, so she has a little bit more on the bottom. I'll put on a little bit on the bottom. I'm just gonna use this dark brown one from M Cosmetics. This I did a review on. It's so dark that it almost looks black, so it should be fine. Yeah, I'm gonna do a wing. I did a really thick line, but it's fine. My eyeliner kind of disappears from my, because my eye shape anyways. Is this kind of eyeliner okay? I think it's fine. It might not be even, but whatever, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I know I talk shit about this mascara, this Misha Volume Boost Cara, but once it dries up, it's not that bad. But before when it's like fresh, it really does not hold a curl. It's still not really volumizing in my opinion, but I just don't like my lashes to look super clumpy and fake. Oh yeah, but with my friend moving to Korea, moving back to Korea, she might become my new plug now. So, I mean, as much as I like Korean Buddy, if I already have someone in Korea who could send me stuff, because I'm going to be sending her hot Cheetos, it'd probably be a lot easier for me. I haven't been buying any new clothes though because I've just been so broke. Because getting vaccinations in the US, like my insurance didn't cover everything, so I had to pay out of pocket for all these um, vaccines. And it's so expensive. Like I probably spent 
because I had to get like maybe four vaccines. I spent probably almost like $500 on everything and my hours got cut at work. So I barely make that much money yet I have to pay so much this week. Okay, I think I'm done with eyes. Everything looks fine, I guess. This is taking so long. Um, but she, it looks like she has like a lot of blush under. So I think I'm just gonna use this one as always because it's not super pigmented. It just looks kind of brownish. So I'm gonna use that around here. It probably doesn't match my face shape, but whatever. Maybe some more here. Kind of like Japanese style. I guess it is a Japanese game, so. I guess I will put a little bit of highlighter because she does have some glow, it looks like. I'm gonna use my favorite Kaja Luna highlighter, the Mochi Glow one, my favorite. I'll probably zoom out now. I'm just going to work. Why am I doing such crazy makeup for work? I'm going to be using the M Cosmetics Faded Clementine for my lips. I just blend it out with my fingers. But because uh, I posted my review on M Cosmetics, they saw my review that I posted and they liked it. And then they decided to, um, they asked to send me some of the new Infinite Lip Cloud shades that they came out with. So I have those. Um, but they, they're like releasing a lot of new stuff. I think they're going to have more shades. For the infinite lip clouds still though this one's still my favorite i tried the other ones the only one that i like like out of those ones is the magic hour that was the one i was gonna buy anyways other ones are nice but some of them are just way too light for me or others are too bright morning mocha is a good one too but yeah out of those the new ones um magic magic hour is my favorite but still you cannot beat this shade for me i probably should just use this on my eyes but i think this kind of matches the lip color that Manuela has. All right, so I'm just gonna set my face. I probably should use this. I haven't been using this one in a while. This is still my favorite though. This one really sets your face. If I could open the cap, oh my God. Oh, Jesus. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so I'm just gonna do my hair and then I'll be back. Okay, so that is the finished look. Um, I have to get ready for work real soon. This is not the outfit I'm going to be wearing to work, clearly. Um, but yeah, so I mean, I'll see if I can check in later on to see how the foundation powder wears. So far, I really like how the foundation looks. Powder is like whatever, but I mean, we'll see as long as it's better than the um, Laura Mercier one for me. But yeah, I mean, it is, I am starting to look a bit shiny, so. Maybe I'll do a little bit more powder right now because maybe I just didn't put on enough. But yeah, it's already starting to look a little bit shiny. But I have some errands to run. I need to go to Chick-fil-A real quick to get breakfast and a gift card for my coworker. But yeah, that's it for right now. See you guys soon. All right, so I'm back from work. It's like almost five o'clock. I already changed back into my pajamas. I want to take off my makeup, but I want to update you guys on the products. Um, just most of the new products that I never mentioned before are used. So far, I really like this Milk um, Stick Foundation. The finish is nice. It looks really great. The only thing is that it's definitely probably not great for oily skins. But it's either that or it's my powder. But yeah, I feel like with stick foundations, it's better for dry skin or normal skin. It's not really great for combination oily skin. But the finish is nice. But yeah, I feel like this is gonna be something I'm gonna travel with for sure. I think it's a little bit more convenient and handy than um, a cushion. Because I feel like right now cushion foundations like the shades. 23 doesn't really match me right now because of my tan. This powder, same thing, not really great for um, oily skins. But hopefully in the winter time it'll be a lot better for me. This sponge though, this was a great sponge. Like you saw how it blended out my uh, that stick foundation really easily. I always thought like sponges weren't really um, ideal for these kinds of stick foundations because it's a little bit thicker. But that uh, sponge was, it blended out really easily. It's already pretty dry. I'm, the only thing is like how am I supposed to clean this? They said that you have to, I read the instructions, it's supposed to be really like you have to be really gentle with this or else it'll tear. And for me, I'm really rough handed. So that sponge is pretty good. Um, anything else that's new, I don't think there is anything else that's new. The star of the show is definitely the stick foundation and the sponge. But yeah, that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. 
So sorry again for my long hiatus. I hopefully this long ass video makes up for all the time lost. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to see more of me, you can of course subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, SoundCloud, and all that. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.